Hey, Andre, congrats on the win tonight. You finally had a turnaround game. What kind of click for you this time around? I mean, just working out uh, every day, just getting better. Uh, I have confidence in me, and coaches give me incredible confidence. And, yeah, uh, it, it, it was just a matter of time. Uh, and I play good this game, and we get the win. So I'm happy right now. <laughs> So you were a pretty big part of that 19-0 run you guys had in the second half. How did that feel to finally have the offense clicking for that brief period in time? Yeah, uh, we struggled a bit in the first half, and we, we knew that uh, we we're going to make some shots, and we make some great plays, and yeah. So we've seen you out here after every game shooting around in Beasley and kind of getting some extra shots up. You know, it, is it important to you that things kind of turned around tonight and you finally seem to find your shooting stroke and maybe have a little extra confidence going into these next games? Yeah, I mean, I just put in work and that's giving me confidence. So uh, like every after every game, I, I just uh, shots and uh, also before the practices. And yeah, I think that's, that's, that's an important thing for like a freshman and uh, who came from Europe, like there's like a um, different style of play. Here is more like faster athletic and uh, yeah. So how are you going to prepare for these uh, upcoming non-conference games before the conference schedule resumes? Yeah, we go, we wanna, we are in the gym tomorrow, so uh, we are ready, ready to work. Um, we know that we could play better today, uh, but uh, yeah, we, 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 we're going to get ready for, for Sunday. All right, thank you, Andre. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, Colton Clark, go ahead. Hey, Andre. So I was just wondering in, in your prep for Idaho and the scout, you know, the film study you guys were doing, what was kind of the, the key emphasis for, for you guys coming into this game? What was kind of highlighted? Uh, just play hard in defense. Uh, we, we knew that, that, that uh, they are good shooters and we knew that uh, 13 and uh, I think five gonna going to make some shots. And we tried to play hard in defense, but we, we got like, I don't know how many, we, we didn't get like offensive rebounds. We struggled a little bit with that. And yeah. That's all I have. Thank you. Uh, any other questions for Andre? Going once. Oh. Theo Lawson, go ahead. Andre, uh, no, uh, Noah Williams has really come alive for you guys in, in the second half, two games, especially uh, Eastern Washington tonight. What, what, is, what does Noah really give you guys in the last, in the last five, ten minutes of the game, defensively and offensively? He got the incredible confidence in himself. He's right here. No, come here. Bro. <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> hey, family, how you guys doing? <laughs> uh, I mean, he he's a really good guy and. Uh, we are happy, like uh, like teammates. He, he helped me a lot during during the practices, and he got incredible confidence in himself and also in, in uh, our teammates. So he played really good. Uh, he finished the game. So yeah. And for you, how 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 long do you think it'll take to to kind of fully make the transition from from playing in Europe to to playing American basketball? Do you, do you, do you think it'll take a couple of months, a full year, or? or how long do you, do you kind of expect that to take for you feel uh, fully comfortable playing playing Pac-12 basketball? Honestly, I don't know, but now I feel comf uh, comfortable. Like uh, I'm, I'm just working working every day, and I can say that after this game, I I, I have confidence and uh, like uh, that's it. What's the what, what's the transition been like for you off the court as far as as far as coming to coming to America, especially in the middle of COVID nineteen and everything else going on right now? You said off the court? Yeah, off the court. Yeah. Uh, it's a different culture, and for sure. Like uh, in Italy and in Macedonia, it's like uh, a different lifestyle. And uh, like here, the school it's very important. Uh, like in in Italy, I never did like online school, and um, yeah, the school and and the culture for sure. Is the weather similar to Macedonia? Yeah, the weather is similar, like Macedonia, and uh, I'm from a small, small city in Macedonia, so it's like Pullman. Thank you.